Polyguard Products, a 100% employee-owned protective coatings company located south of Dallas, has produced waterproofing products for 50 years. Polyguard has produced close to 1 billion square feet of waterproofing. Polyguard became aware of the expanding Formosan termite problem in the late 1990s. In December of 1999, we met with entomology researchers at Texas A&M to discuss upgrading Polyguard waterproofing membranes by incorporating a non-chemical termite barrier. This meeting started a 20-year development program with Texas A&M and other universities in high termite pressure states. This interdisciplinary work resulted in the term barrier system, which protects the building envelope against both water and termite. The red region has both high termite pressure plus high rainfall. If you build here, you should incorporate both waterproofing and non-chemical termite protection. Term barrier system has been evaluated as a physical termite barrier by the International Code Council. This video shows how to apply term underslab water termite barrier. Term underslab provides full underslab protection against both termites and water, which enters through slab joints, cracks, or openings. Here's a list of the materials you will need. The term under slab weighs just under half a pound. It has a puncture resistance of 224 pounds. This is really a hefty material. It needs to be heavy duty to resist the abuse of slab construction. The tools and supplies needed are. Here's an overview of the installation steps. Temperatures should be above freezing and rising. There should be no standing water on the prepared base. Install the inside and outside corners. Corners can be purchased from Polyguard or field fabricated. This inside corner reinforces the system and adds leak protection. In this picture, the contractor removes the silicone coated release liner. This exposes the adhesive sealant surface. When the underslab barrier is installed, the bottom film side of the term underslab will stick to the exposed adhesive side of the corner boot, thus reinforcing and sealing the corner intersection. Install term under slab in the footer. Unroll term under slab and form it in the footer trench. The adhesive strip should be on the inside of the footer. On the outside of the footer, term under slab can be stapled to the wood forms to hold in place. Term under slab installed in the footer should have the 4 inch adhesive edge at the top of the inside wall of the trench. This way, rolls installed on the horizontal base can form an overlap bond with the term under slab installed inside of the footer. Install term under slab on the prepared horizontal base. Unroll term under slab barrier onto the base. Unroll in the longest direction, parallel to the previous roll, with the high strength red film on the bottom side. Overlap the side of the new roll 4 inches onto the adhesive edge of the previous roll. Remove the protective top film on the green side. When the new roll is accurately aligned and overlapped, remove the silicone coated release strip from the adhesive edge of the previous roll to form a bond along the entire length. Then use the industrial steel roller on the seam to completely seal the overlap bond. End laps are important. It is best to install several laps in an area at the same time rather than one at a time. The end of the new roll will overlap six inches onto the previous roll. Now apply California sealant to the area underneath the end lap. When the sealant becomes tacky, embed the overlap into the bottom. Roll the green side with an industrial steel roller to ensure a bond. Now apply California sealant at least 6 inches either side of the end lap seam and 4 inches past both sides of the overlap. Once the sealant is tacky, place a 54 inch strip of the fabric tape over the area of the tacky sealant. Roll with an industrial steel roller to create a bond. After installation of the term under slab barrier, all penetration should be detailed to seal any gaps. Here's how pipe penetrations are sealed. Apply California sealant to a perimeter 6 inches out from the penetration. Cut a piece of term fabric tape long enough to give a 6 inch perimeter around the penetration. Cut a hole in the fabric tape to fit over the penetration. Cut the release liner in half for easy removal. Put the term fabric tape in place. Remove the release liner and roll with an industrial steel roller. Apply term termite sealant completely around the penetration 
and tool the sealant to create a 3 quarter inch face around each penetration. At completion of the installation, check all end laps for gaps. The fabric tape used for end laps has been made black for noticeability. Inspect all corners. Make sure there are no gaps and that the corner has been treated with mastic or sealant. There should be a final inspection just prior to the concrete pour. Find and repair any gaps and damage caused by rebar fabrication and placement. Thank you for watching this video.